The NBA draft has completely fallen the way that the Los Angeles Lakers wanted it to. Coming into this draft, they had picked number 17 in the first round, and then they had picked number 55 in the second round. And before I get to the second round pick, just talking about pick 17 last night, Dalton Connect is a guy that many people believed was almost a near lock and a sure thing to go in the top seven of the draft. It seemed like the Portland Trailblazers were possibly his floor. And it's not because of injury concerns that he fell, but it's because of age concerns. He's 23 years old, not necessarily concerns, but for some of those teams high in the lottery, they might want to be shooting for younger players. But if you're the Lakers, you have LeBron James pushing 40 years old anyways, so you're not too concerned about age. You just want someone that can impact your team right away because they're looking for a championship, whether it's realistic or not. And Dalton Connect might be the most NBA ready score in the league or coming into the league as he can be very similar to J.J. Redick when he was a player, so understandably so. J.J. Redick seemed very excited to get Dalton Connect. Rob Palinka said that immediately when they drafted him, J.J. Redick was already on the whiteboard, drawn up actions for ATOs and pin downs where he can get Dalton Connect shots because he is an elite shooter from Tennessee. The reigning SEC Player of the Year will now be a Laker. And then the second one at pick number 55, this seemed inevitable. And it's really weird for second round picks to be this way, but this one has been determined for a long time as no one else was going to be willing to use a draft pick on Bronny James, but the Lakers just let him or had him fall right into their lap at number 55. Now it's very unclear what his role is going to be. Maybe he'll spend some time in the G League, even though when Rich Paul was talking, it doesn't sound like he wants him to, but is Bronny James realistically going to be a rotation piece for a team that's trying to compete in the playoffs this year? We'll see. Who knows? But what we do know is LeBron James has made made it long enough in the NBA that it is now official. It's not just speculation that he wants to wait and play with his son. He is officially teammates with his son, LeBron James Jr., Bronny James. It's going to be very fun to see that at least. And Rich Paul really wanted to make this happen as Bronny James. Obviously, it's because his dad is LeBron, but it's a rare case of a guy that probably wasn't going to get drafted, but he basically forced his way into this situation. He wasn't working out with any teams besides the Lakers or the Phoenix Suns and Bob Myers on the draft coverage on ESPN said that Rich Paul was calling teams that were picking ahead of the Lakers today and he said don't draft Bronny because if you draft him and you're not the Lakers or the Suns then he's going to go overseas and he's going to play in Australia and refuse to play for your team and he sounded very serious saying that too but anyways the things worked out the way the Lakers wanted I can't imagine they had any vision of being able to land Dalton Connect at number 17 outside the lottery especially with playoff contenders and teams like Miami and Philadelphia. They could have used players of that caliber as well. So Dalton Connect is their first round pick, an NBA made score already. And Bronny James, it's going to be very interesting to see what his role is year one and if he has a role with the LA team. But J.J. Redick, the new coach, is getting Dalton Connect and Bronny James to come in. It's going to be fascinating to see how this all plays out in LA.